Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. We are the third fattest nation in the world, and unfortunately our children are carrying a lot of the weight. South Africa's childhood obesity problem is garnering global attention. The childhood obesity epidemic is very concerning because the long-term implications are very serious. What we're seeing already is basically an acceleration in aging with our younger generation. I often say we're mortgaging the health of our younger generation. And our kids, they're becoming sick. It's not detectable yet, but they're on an accelerated sickness rate. Um, um, such that they're manifesting adult diseases even in childhood. We're seeing increased prevalences of hypertension, high blood pressure in childhood. We're seeing dyslipidemia, problems with cholesterol in childhood. We never used to see these before. And so, and it's all a manifestation of our lifestyle. We're living in childhood like we live in adulthood. And so that's a fundamental shift that's occurred across the last generation and it, quite frankly is mortgaging the health of our kids and accelerating chronic disease onset, these onset of non-communicable diseases of which most of our children will die from and probably at much earlier ages than you and I will. A recent study showed that a lack of exercise now kills as many people as smoking does each year. If we look at South Africa, we know that almost 40% of adult mortality is in fact preventable because it is from chronic non-communicable diseases. And the lifestyle factors that contribute to that are physical inactivity, unhealthy eating and obesity, and smoking, as well as alcohol abuse. So if we were to address those factors in our children and youth, in particular, those factors which can be addressed through policy, so ensuring that physical education does take place and that there are physical activity breaks for children in class that are implemented, then we, we have a hope of that actually tracking through to adulthood later in life. Other factors I think which are implicated are screen time. And right now we know that almost one in three South African children are watching more than three and a half hours of television per day. And that speaks to in part the fact that the outdoors is maybe not perceived to be safe for children. Play has become rarefied and so what we do is we cocoon our children indoors and we give them TV as a babysitter. There is chronic disease which is preventable in this country. Four risk factors three major diseases, all preventable if, if, we, if we address lifestyle behavior. But the way to do that is in part through policy to make healthy choices easier. Though obesity presents parents with a daunting challenge, experts are convinced that we can turn this problem around. So the way forward in trying to address the childhood obesity and inactivity crisis that we have, I think, occurs on many, many levels. I think we also need to recognize that it's a, it's a multi jurisdictional problem. The problem isn't one just about eating or just about moving, it's one about transport, it's one about poverty, it's one about families, about communities, about schools, about churches, all together. At the level of the mom and dad, there are some simple things that you can do. You can try and walk more and drive less. You can try and be a better role model for your child and not just uh, do as I say, but do as I do. Get out and play with your child, get out, help your child uh, shop with you uh, for healthy food alternatives, and finally, keep televisions, video games, computers, out of the bedrooms. I think that, that the issues around what parents can do, and especially uh, re limiting sedentary time, uh, really depend on creating an environment which is favorable for children to safely uh, express or to, to actually minimize this nature deficit disorder that uh, Professor Tremblay has spoken about. And so I think from that point of view, although I think parents are implicated, I think that what we, we could also say is it takes a village to raise a child, and that you actually need a society which is favorable to promote physical activity and healthy eating as well. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. I want to live the best life.